integrate 5x upon x plus 1 into x square plus 9 with respect to x. With reference to these various types, let's now try to integrate this new function. The integrand here is a rational function, that is, a polynomial upon another polynomial. And the degree of the numerator is 1, degree of the denominator is 3, a first degree factor and a second degree factor. So total degree is 3. Now since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, we can go for partial fractions. But which type of partial fraction would we apply? To know that, let's observe the denominator factors. One of the factors is a second degree factor. Can we split it further into first degree ones? No. x square plus 9 cannot be factorized further. So, it will follow the type with the denominator having a second degree non-splittable factor. Then, the pattern goes this way. Corresponding to such a second degree factor, you take a first degree polynomial in the numerator and corresponding to the first degree factor x plus d, you take a constant in the numerator like this. So, let's go ahead. Let this integrand be equal to a upon the first degree polynomial, first degree factor, plus bx plus c upon the second degree factor. Corresponding to the second degree non-splittable factor, take a first degree in the numerator. Now, we need to calculate the values of A, B and C. For that, let's take the LCM on the RHS. LCM will be the same denominator as this one, the product of these two. Hence, once you take the LCM, the denominator from either sides will be cancelled. So, I'm equating only the numerator 5x equal to A into x square plus 9 plus Bx plus C into x plus 1. This is LCM process, except the denominator written here. Now we have got a polynomial equation. A polynomial equation is true only if the like terms have same coefficients on either sides of the equality sign. Let's equate the coefficients of like terms. x square term on the RHS is a times and here x square term you will get by multiplying bx into x. So bx into x is bx square. So the coefficient of x square here will be b and coefficient of x square here is a. So a plus b will be the coefficient of x square on RHS but there is no x square on the LHS hence you equate it to 0. Let's go for the x term. There is no x term in the first term here. Cx term will be there and also Bx term will be there while expanding this bracket. So, the coefficient of x term, x term will be B plus C once you open it. The x term on the left side, it is 5 times since it is equated to the coefficient 5. Now, lastly, let us equate the constants. Here, A into 9 is a constant. Here, C into 1 will be a constant. So, a plus c, 9a plus c will be the constant. And look, on the left, left side there is no constant term. So, equate it to 0. So, we have got three equations in the three unknowns a, b, c. We will solve for a, b, c. Linear equation solving by elimination method. We will end up getting a equal to minus half, b equal to half and c equal to 9 by 2. So, we are in a position to change this integrand, this single integrand into two terms now with the help of the newly calculated a, b and c. So, this integrand is going to be rewritten as this a upon a upon x plus 1 value of a is minus half so minus half upon x plus 1 and bx plus c b and c you use here so half x plus 9 by 2 upon x square plus 9 let's go ahead 
These are now two terms. So we can do the integration as two separate integrals. Separated into two. Out of which the first one we will go ahead with. That is I am taking this minus half coefficient out of the integral sign. I am left with 1 upon x plus 1 dx. How to integrate this? This one comes under this pattern. Integral of 1 upon a first degree polynomial. Ax plus b. Here but a is 1. So the answer, the integral will be 1 by a log of ax plus b where a is 1. So it is straight away log of x plus 1. The integration is log of x plus 1 along with the coefficient minus half. Now let's go ahead with the second term. Second one is going to be now split into two. Half x upon x square plus 9 dx and 9 by 2 upon x square plus 1 9 dx. Again the coefficients are kept outside so that we can perform the integration on these two functions. Look at this. What would follow here? Here it is second degree in the denominator and first degree in the numerator. So, we will go for a substitution. Denominator and its derivative in the numerator. Second degree polynomials derivative is first degree. In short, derivative of x square is 2x. Derivative of 9 is 0. So, if you go for x square plus 9 as an fx, a substitution u, the numerator will be the derivative. Only thing is the 2 is missing. That we can create. Let's multiply and divide by 2 so that x square plus 9's derivative is created in the numerator to apply this substitution. We'll go for the substitution u equal to the denominator u equal to x square plus 9. u equal to x square plus 9 then du will be 2x dx. So it straight away goes in this pattern 1 by u du so log of the denominator will be the integration. That is why log of x square plus 9 is written as the integration. Of course, the substitution is not written here. It's so obvious. Denominator's derivative present in the numerator exactly once we gave the 2 here. So, we can go for log of denominator according to this formula. And then comes the coefficient 1 by 4 due to this extra 2. Now, let's go about this. What's the difference between these two? The denominators are same. But look in the numerator. We do not have a first degree term there. Here since this x was available, we could create the derivative in the numerator just by giving a constant 2 here, which will not be possible here. So we can't expect it to be in this pattern. Then what? Yes, this goes by another form. That is 1 upon x square plus a square. This 9 is rewritten as 3 square. So it is exactly fitting into this pattern. 1 upon x square plus 3 square. a is 3. Here it is. So the integration directly formula. 1 by a tan inverse x by a formula. So here this 9 by 2 into 1 by a is 1 by 3 tan inverse x by 3 plus c. All the three terms are integrated. Very interesting. Three different terms are following three different patterns while integrating. Let's go ahead simplifying it. In the next step, I am clubbing together these two log terms. With a 1 by 4 common. Here minus 2 log x plus 1 plus log x square plus 1. This one is 1 upon 3 by 2, tan inverse x by 3 plus c. Here the cancellation, 3 by 2 left. Here what happens? These two terms are log terms. Log a plus log b is log a b. But look at this coefficient. This is following the form n log a. n log a equal to log of a raised to the power n. So we will write here log of x plus 1 to the power minus 2. To the power minus 2 means that will be in the denominator. x square plus 1 in the numerator. So log a minus log b. So the second term 
this one is in the denominator. Log A minus log B is log of A upon B with the coefficient 1 by 4. And the next term is 3 by 2 tan inverse x by 3 as it is. Found it useful? Don't forget to subscribe Marriott Joseph channel for variety of examples and various topics.